good evening and welcome back to the channel so in line with that video I did yesterday regarding the route I'm going to take I'm going to show you on the map so that you've got a clearer understanding of basically the route that, that, that you can take if you don't want to go via the motorway to Birmingham Airport so the usual route really if you're coming from your Toxeter is you would obviously head out of your Toxeter to Marchington You'd head either to Drakerton the Clay or go up Marchington Cliff. Right, so you would go up there to six lanes and you would head down here, which brings you to the garage where you turn for Burton that way, Berkeley Park and Bartland and Eve would down this road here. So then you would go down this road and it would take you to Bartland and Eve where you then get the A38 which goes down to Litchfield. So the route I'm planning on taking is that you go down to Litchfield until you get to the bit where you go for Swinfin. Now, the, the one of the routes I have taken is this road, which is the A5, which then takes you to the motorway at the M42, which is just there, right? Which is junction 10. And you then basically come all the way down the M42 till you get to junction number six, which is this exit. So you come all the way down the 42, you come into Birmingham Airport and then the road branches off there and you basically come right the way round into the airport itself. Because the car park I'm going to be using is car park number one, which is basically there. So you would come in on the separate road from, let me just zoom down. So you would come in off the motorway along here, stay in the left hand lane and you go over the bridge and it would bring you to the radar thing I was saying on the video, which is basically this, that. So you would come in from the motorway along that road there, and you would come in and head down there, which takes you to all the car parks and the passenger terminal. But the road I'm going to take is actually going to bring you over there. So you avoid the motorway, you, and that's the arena over there, the Resorts World Arena, just there. So you come round this roundabout and you go down there. So to get to this road here, I will just explain how you get to it. So if we zoom back out, we've got Birmingham Airport, yes. So if we zoom back out and head back up north, now, towards Litchfield again, it would mean basically me staying on the A38, not coming off for the A5, we're continuing down here and you come down the M A38 you don't touch the motorway the M6 toll you come to Bassett's pole which is just here because if you go on the A446 it will take you down to the Belfry the famous golf course but if you stay on the A38 it comes all the way down you don't touch the motorway at all so you come all the way down here all the way down into Birmingham so you follow it all the way down until you come to this roundabout and you actually continue on the A38 all the way down so you don't come off the A38 at all until you get to this roundabout not Sainsbury's but this roundabout here sorry so this is still the A38 this is going into Birmingham Centre but you come to this roundabout and then you take the road down because if I zoom in on this map <coughs> It will show you the sign where you take a left for Birmingham Airport. Uh, right, so it's showing it's 12 miles to Litchfield back along the A38. So you're basically coming 12 miles extra. The turning for the airport is actually, I'll just show you, I'll zoom back up here. No, I'll just zoom back up here past these vehicles, just a minute. So when you get to the self-storage place, if you notice on the sign, it says... Birmingham and the airport and NEC, A452. And yes, it will take you to the motorway, M6 South, which is Junction 6, as I said earlier on the other video, and the 42. But you don't have to touch either of those motorways. You can just go on that road, the A452, Birmingham Airport, NEC. That's where you're going to head. If you carry straight on, it's A38 and it takes you to the motorway. But it takes you into the centre of Birmingham, which I won't be doing. I'll be heading on that road for Birmingham Airport. So at these traffic lights, just here where these cars are queuing up, this was taken in June last year. 
So when you get to these traffic lights, there's the traffic lights there, you basically filter in this left lane. If you carry on down there, you've got the Birmingham city centre. So you basically just stay in that left hand lane. There it is, A452 South. These two roads take you to the centre of Birmingham. So you go in this lane and you basically just filter with the traffic. And on the sign, it still says Birmingham Airport and A452. So you basically head for Castle Bromwich. But it's this road that you aim for. So when you go down this road, which is this one, it actually brings you to the motorway, which is junction five. Now you've got two options. <clears throat> As I said on the video, you've got two options. You can either take the left for the airport, which I'm not going to do. So on the sign, it's got it on there now as Birmingham Airport up the motorway. But if you go through these lights, and you go up that road, which is literally right next to this exit, so that's the motorway exit there. But if you go up this road here, that road that goes up there, where this lorry's sticking out, this road runs parallel with this motorway. So you don't even have to go on the motorway. And it will still bring you to the same place, because you are heading for Castle Bromwich and Chelmsley Wood. So you basically head up here, up this road. Because as you will find, as you drive up it, it actually runs, if you look on this map, which I'll just show you now, it runs parallel with the motorway. And if you scroll out, you can see that it's running parallel with the motorway. There's the 452, there's the M6. It's running parallel, both the roads together. And it runs parallel all the way down. The motorway does branch off eventually, but it technically runs parallel with the M6 all the way and then it goes across for Coventry and then you basically get on the 42 which goes to the airport but if you stay on this 452 it's still running parallel with this road so you just stay on this road all the way down it's still running parallel with the motorway and you go all the way down the A452 till you and it's, it's still parallel as you notice it's still parallel there's the motorway 42 so you come down here and you basically then take a right hand turn and you go down this B4438. This is the premier in Birmingham Airport Hotel. So you're basically entering the airport site now. So you come down this road and it brings you out at that sign. It brings you out basically at the roundabout where that big um, radar is that I was showing you earlier. So if I just scroll out of that a minute. I'm gone. On this roundabout here so you're coming out of this road now um, and you're heading for the airport basically so that's taking you back to Charlesley Wood Bicknell Lane Bicknell Lane so if you go up here you are basically now on the signpost that's the M42 exit, and you're heading for the airport, turn right, passenger terminals, parking. And you come to the end, and there is that radar tower. So if you came in from that road, then you would be coming in from the motorway, which is there. But I'm going to avoid that and come down here, because I want to see what the mileage difference is. So instead of me touching the motorway, I will go down the A38 from Bartland and Ewood, there, all the way down to Litchfield, stay on the A38 to Bassett's Pole, continue on the A38 all the way down into Birmingham itself, not right into the centre, but I will come down the A38 here till I get to this roundabout here, this junction, and I will then turn left and head down to the A452, which is about here, and then it follows it all the way round here to Chelmsley Wood. Chest, yeah, you follow it all the way round here to Chelmsley Wood. And then you basically continue until you go in straight into the airport there. So I avoid this. And because it's going to be early morning, around 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, the chances are it's going to have congestion, there's going to be roadworks, there's going to be kids going to school and college and university. It's going to be busy. So 
I don't want to be stuck in any traffic on this road. I want to actually be at the airport for around 7, 7.30. So I think even if, I mean, I might hit a bit of traffic coming into Birmingham this way, A452, but most of it will be heading into the centre of Birmingham. Along here, they'll be heading into the centre, whereas I'm just going to come straight down, avoid that. They're all going to go into Birmingham. I'm going to come down here to Chelmsley Wood and go to the airport. And I think it's going to save me a few miles and it'll be interesting to see how many miles it saves me and when I go home I will go back up the 42 because I know it's 45 miles going up the 42 but it'll be interesting to see what it is coming down the A38 so as I said I will post it to the channel so please keep an eye on it comment and like the video and subscribe so I thought I'd share that with you so thank you for watching take care and I will see you guys in the next one bye bye